So here's a good representation of what we had going on when we mapped this out. Here's one side done. So, again, what I did was we measured from outside to outside over there. And then we measured on the sheet from outside to outside. That's what this, li this line is right here. Then we went back six inches. And that's because that's how thick this lumber is right here. This is our beams for up top. And this stuff is six inches. So that's where I got that number from. Again, you can see my mark right here, six inches. That's the inside bottom corner of our rafter. Because again, this flat right here, that's where it's going to sit right on the beam. All right. So then from that point, we went over two feet and then snapped a straight line off of that, right? S hooked from there. So this is a straight line. That gives us a straight line so that we could then pull from here up 16 inches, which is our rise over run times two, right? Because it's two feet and our pitch is 812. So that's eight over 12 times two, that's 16 inches right here. And, that, and then that gave us a point that we could snap through. It was this bottom one is what it was. And we snapped through from there, through. And then we did the same thing from our six inch mark on this side. And we pulled it through. That gave us our bottom side of the rafter. Then what we did was we checked the average of all of our rafters, which we came out with seven and three eighths. A couple of them wavered, hair small, hair big, right? But the majority of them were seven and three eighths. So we snapped a line parallel at seven and three eighths. That gives us the top of our rafter. Then I know my ridge beam thickness is three and a half inches. So what I did was I just dragged down to where three and a half inches was going to hit both corners of my line right here. And then from there, again, I double checked. And our ridge beam is also seven and three eighths. <clears throat> so I measured down from that seven and three eighths. And then I went over inch and three quarter over th inch and three quarter. So this pencil line is a visual representation of our ridge beam, right? Now I can measure from the bottom of this sheet of plywood to the bottom of that. And that's my post height. Because this line here represents the top of my beam line, right? Then I knew that I could pull from here to here. That gave me 43 and 7 16 Then I set my big square here. And I scribed it to my measurement. Cut this, plum cut. Pulled from there, 43 and 7 16 I took my 812, which is 34 degrees, basically. And I minus 34 from 90. That gave me 56 degrees. So I came over here to my 43 and 7 16 mark. And I set my square right here to 54 degrees. I cut that line. Since I'm using four by material, I went ahead and made this three inches. And I'm not worried about this gap right here sticking out over the edge. I, I don't care nothing about that. Later, I can figure out where I want to cut these tails. And I'll swing this back to 812. Plum cut my tails where I want them. Which is going to be determined really by this corner right here. Because I don't want to get too close to the garage. Right? So, that's what I'm considering right here. Not being too close to the garage. All right, hopefully that made some kind of sense. Uh, hopefully that'll help you out. Uh, I'm not working off a set of drawings. This is just freestyle out of my head. Uh, so I wanted a visual representation before I cut anything because I, I can't make a mistake. There is zero extra lumber here. So anyways, thanks for watching.